Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is fourth class based on formation of differential equations. In this class, we will do two problems of same type. You see here, form the differential equation. Here DE means differential equation. Form the differential equation of family of circles touching x axis at the origin. What is the difference between this problem and previous problems? In previous problems, they given the equation directly and they are asking to form a differential equation. But here the equation not given directly. They, we need to find that equation. First we need to write the equation of family of circles touching x axis at the origin. Then we need to form a differential equation. Okay. First we will try to understand what is the equation of family of circles touching x axis at origin. In circles chapter we learned that if a circle touches x axis then its center definitely lies on y axis. We know this, e this equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square is the equation of the circle whose center is h comma k and radius is r. Here what is uh, its center? Actually family of circles we need to draw but I consider only one circle from that family. Okay, so here center of this circle as the circle touches x axis at origin its center lies on y axis. If center lies on y axis its x coordinate will be 0. So what is center of this circle? Generally h comma k we will write but here center lies on y axis and y axis x coordinate is 0. So what is its center of the circle? Its center of the circle is 0 comma k. What is this length? Can we say this length? What is this length? As this point is 0 comma k, what is this length? This length is nothing but k. Here you observe that this length is nothing but radius. So what is radius of the circle? Radius of the circle is k. So I will write the equation of family of circles which touches x axis at the origin. Okay? The equation of family of circles touches x axis at origin is. What is the actual equation of circle formula? This is the formula we learn in circle chapter. Here center is 0 comma k that means h value is 0 k is same only and what is the radius of the circle radius of the circle is k so you start writing this what you will get equation of circle x minus h here what is h value h value is 0 x minus 0 whole square plus in place of h i written 0 in place of k k only y minus k whole square equal to what is the radius of this circle radius of this circle is k so in this equation in place of r we will write k r square here k square i'll simplify this little bit x minus 0 whole square is nothing but x square plus you expand this equation what you will get y square plus k square minus 2ky a minus b whole square formula equal to k square. You can observe here this k square, this k square will get cancelled. Little bit of simplification I will do here. x square plus y square equal to 2ky. Finally, this is the equation of a circle touches x axis at origin. As k is a variable here, arbitrary constant. So here this is the equation for family of circles which touches x axis at origin. Now actual what we need to do, we need to form the differential equation. Okay, to form a differential equation as we discussed in previous classes also, we will remember three steps. What is that? First, you identify number of arbitrary constants present in the given equation. Okay, now then you differentiate that many times. If two arbitrary constants are there, you differentiate two times. In the process of differentiation only, we will try to eliminate the arbitrary constants. If the arbitrary constants are eliminated, it is well and good. Otherwise, we will use this third step. Okay. Now we return the curve. Now we will identify number of arbitrary constants. You see in this how many arbitrary constants are there? Here k is arbitrary constant. What about 2? 2 is a fixed constant. So how many arbitrary constants are there in this? Only one arbitrary constant is there. What is that one arbitrary constant? That one arbitrary constant is k. Okay. So how many times we can differentiate this equation? We can differentiate this equation only one time. So you start differentiating this with respect to x on both sides. d by dx of x square plus y square equal to d by dx of 2ky. What happening here? I am differentiating this with respect to x on both sides. Okay. Derivative of x square plus y square is what? Derivative of x square 
plus derivative of y square. Derivative of x square. Derivative of x square is what? 2x plus derivative of y square. See here function is in terms of y. We are differentiating with respect to x. So what we will do? We know that derivative of y square is 2y. As function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x. Here what we will write? We will write dy by dx. We already learned these things in chain rule differentiation. Here derivative of 2ky. Here 2k is constant, right? 2k is constant. Take it outside. Derivative of y with respect to x. dy dx of y. d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx. Correct? Okay. You observe here, one time differentiation is over. Actually, as only one arbitrary constant is there, we can differentiate only one time. And here arbitrary constant is eliminated? No, arbitrary constant is not yet eliminated. Still this k is present. So, after differentiation also, arbitrary constant is not eliminated means we will use either given curve or dy by dx. You see here, this is the given curve. I will take it as equation 1. After first time differentiation, you got this expression. You observe this from equation 1. What is 2k? You observe this equation 1. From equation 1, we can write 2k. What is 2k? 2k is x square plus y square divided by y. Correct or not? Take just take this y to this side. 2k is x square plus y square divided by y. So what I will do from this equation number 2, you observe what I will write equation number 2. 2x plus 2y into dy by dx. Our main intention is we need to eliminate arbitrary constant. So in place of 2x from the given curve, I can write this. What is this? x square plus y square divided by y into dy by dx. I hope you are understanding into dy by dx. Okay. Now you see here arbitrary constants eliminated or not eliminated? Yes, arbitrary constants are eliminated. Actually, this is the required differential equation. But we can do little bit of simplification here. What I'll do, I'll take this y to this side and I'll multiply this whole expression with y. We will see what happens. Actually, you can stop this problem here. But a um, little bit of simplification is possible. That's why we are doing this simplification. Take y to this side and multiply this whole expression with y. What you will get? You will get that 2xy because I'm multiplying with y plus 2y square because this whole expression we are multiplying with y into dy by dx equal to x square plus y square into dy by dx is present. Correct? What is present here? x square plus y square into dy by dx. So I can write like this x square into dy by dx. Try to understand x square into dy by dx plus y square into dy by dx. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll take uh, this 2y square into dy by dx to this side. Okay. What you will get? You will get that 2xy equal to x square into dy by dx, y square minus 2y square into dy by dx. y square minus 2y square is what? Minus y square into dy by dx. I hope you are understanding. I am just taking this term to right hand side. After simplifying y square minus 2y square, I will get minus y square dy by dx. Here what you will do in right hand side, you take dy by dx common. What you will get? 2xy equal to x square minus y square into dy by dx. From this, we can write dy by dx. What is dy by dx? dy by dx equal to 2xy divided by x square minus y square. So, we eliminated arbitrary constants from the given curve. Actually, we can stop the simplification here itself as arbitrary constants are eliminated. But if you want the test book answer by doing little bit of simplification, you will get this. I hope you understand. Now I'm going to do another problem which is of same type. You pause this video, please note down the question and try that question your own. If you didn't get the answer, then you can check the solution. You observe this question. Form the differential equation of family of circles touching y axis. In last class, we done touching x axis. Touching y axis at the origin. Our main intention is we need to form the differential equation. To form a differential equation, we must know the curve. 
here equation of the curve is not given the curve is represented in the form of a statement what is that curve differential equation of family of circles touches y axis at origin touches you observe here this circle touches y axis at origin so first i need to i just written only one circle here actually they are saying family of circles by taking one circle we can write this equation we know this equation from circle chapter equation of a circle whose center is h comma k and radius is r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square this is the equation of the circle whose center is h comma k and radius is r here we know that in circle chapter we learned this if circle touches y axis at origin its center lies on x axis generally center means we will take h comma k here as center lies on x axis its y coordinate will be zero so what is the center of this circle center of this circle looks like this h comma zero please try to understand generally center is h comma k here center lies on x axis we know that on x axis y coordinate will be zero so center of this circle we can take it as h comma zero right what is this length do you know what is this length yes what is this length this length is h because this point is h comma zero actually this is nothing but radius of the circle so what is h h is arbitrary constant so now i'll write equation of family of circles which touches y axis at origin the equation of family of circles touches y axis at origin here what is this center center is h comma zero what is its radius radius is h so in this equation in place of k i'll write zero in place of r i'll write h so what is the equation of circle you will get x minus h whole square plus y minus what is k here k is zero y minus zero whole square equal to r square r means radius of the circle what is radius of the circle radius of the circle is h h square i'll do little bit of simplification here you expand by using a minus b whole square formula what you will get x square plus h square minus 2xh plus y minus 0 is nothing but y only y square equal to h square you can observe this h square h square will get cancelled one more simplification step i'll write x square plus y square equal to you minus 2xh 2xh you take it to the right hand side it will become plus 2xh so finally i written the equation of family of circles which touches y axis at origin what is our main intention we need to form a differential equation to form a differential equation as we discussed earlier three steps you need to remember first you identify number of arbitrary constants present in that equation that many times you differentiate in the process of differentiation only you try to eliminate arbitrary constants if arbitrary constants are eliminated whatever we will get that is the required differential equation otherwise we will use given curve after differentiation what equations you will get we will use those things to eliminate arbitrary constants you observe this one how many arbitrary constants are there here 2 is fixed constant 2 is fixed constant 2 is fixed constant h here h is the arbitrary constant only one arbitrary constant is there so we identified number of arbitrary constants in this only one arbitrary constant is there so how many times we can differentiate this we can differentiate it only one time so i'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides differentiate dy dx of x square plus y square equal to dy dx of 2xh actually what we are doing i am differentiating this with respect to x on both sides derivative of x square plus y square is what derivative of x square plus derivative of y square we know that derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of y square is 2y here this function is in terms of y but we are differentiating with respect to x so what we will write here we will write dy by dx we already learn all these things in chain rule differentiation equal to here what is constant 2h is constant 2h you take it outside what is remaining x is remaining derivative of x with respect to x derivative of x with respect to x is what it is 1 right so what you will get here you will get that 2x plus 2y into dy by dx equal to 2h first time differentiation is completed 
right after completion of first time differentiation arbitrary constant is eliminated or not at eliminated you see this one in this arbitrary constant is there you see here h still present uh, we can differentiate only one time because one arbitrary constant is present okay so here what we will do i'll use given curve uh, i'll name it as equation one we will name this as equation two uh, I'll use given curve. You observe from this we can write 2h. You observe what is 2h from this? 2h. You just take x to this side. What What is 2h? x square plus y square divided by x. Okay. In this equation number 2, in place of 2h, I'll write this expression. Why I'm writing like this? Our main intention is we need to eliminate arbitrary constants. Okay. So write here 2x plus 2y into dy by dx equal to 2h. What is 2h? From this what is 2h? 2h can be written as x square plus y square divided by x. You observe here arbitrary constant is eliminated or not eliminated? Eliminated. So this is the required differential equation. But here little bit of simplification is possible. So we will do that little bit of simplification what i'll do i'll take x to this side and i'll multiply this whole expression with x then what you will get 2x into x is 2x square plus here 2xy i'm multiplying this also with x because this whole expression we are multiplying with x 2xy into dy by dx equal to what is remaining here x square plus y square okay you can stop this here a little bit of simplification also you can do so this is the required differential equation of given curve i hope you understand this class <laughs>